So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another video where I have a big announcement for you guys. So if you have been following my blog on CodeDam, you already know this. But for those of you who haven't been following, you can go ahead and subscribe. The link is in the description. Well, the news is that IntelliSense support is now added on CodeDam platform. Now, what do I mean by that? I would rather show you that instead of just blabbering about it all the way. So I'm going to go ahead and log in into CodeDam real quick. You can go ahead and create an account if you don't have one yet. And once you're in the dashboard, you're going to see something like this. Head over to Playgrounds where you can actually see and, you know, mess around with stuff. Right now, at the moment, CodeDam supports three Playgrounds out of the box. Um, Node, C and Java. So I'm going to go ahead and start a C Playground. So what a C Playground would do is that it would actually allow you to work with C programming language in a way you want. So I'm going to go ahead and start the terminal. And what this terminal would do is actually give you a real nice bash experience altogether. So it's an actual bash shell, which is running on the cloud, which is given to you, which has um, GCC installed by default, right? So I'm going to go ahead and create a file named script.c. And the great thing now is that you're on the web and once you start typing stuff, you're going to see that it actually auto completes it just like it would do in an IDE. This is known as IntelliSense and is implemented using language server protocol. A lot of details about this are actually in my blog post. I'm going to just going to zoom in here a little bit so that you can see how this all works. So we have an hello world and then I'm just going to go ahead and create a variable with some mistake let's just go ahead and do that and you can see that it directly points us towards the mistake as well pretty awesome stuff so if i go ahead and fix this and if i say if x is in fact 3324 what i want to do is i want to have a printf of yay right so once we do that i can go ahead and save this file i can write gcc script.c you see that i get the a.out file and I can run this on my bash terminal and I get hello world and yay, just like you would expect it to. So this is one variant of running a playground on um, CodeDAM and I'm going to make use of playground a lot in the upcoming videos. So hopefully you're going to love it. Just go ahead and give it a try. It's free. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the announcement part. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe like the video, share it with friends and thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next video real quick.